Hello, this lesson is from one of our courses over at Print That Thing, where we help people learn 3D print design. If you haven't already, you can get the free startup file to hack Blender for your 3D printer at ptt.live. Let's get to designing. In our first section, we're gonna be learning the user interface. We're just gonna be getting to know Blender and try and just kind of make it a little less scary looking. And we're gonna be using my favorite object, which is the Suzanne model, to kind of learn the basics of editing, moving your windows around, what all the different windows do, and you will have your first 3D designed object by the end of this section. Let's go ahead and jump on in it. All right, in this lesson, we're going to download and install Blender 2.8, or the latest Blender, whatever it may be when you're watching this, for PC. I am using a Windows 10, and what you want to do is just go to blender.org, or you can click it in the uh, lesson uh, welcome lesson. There's a download link there, or I'll put it in the description of this video module lesson. But all you do is go here, check out the website if you want. Blender does some crazy awesome stuff. Uh, we're using it for 3D printing. Notice they don't even have 3D printing here. That's because I don't even think that they care about 3D printing. Just kidding. I think they do a little bit. But anyways, let's go ahead and download. You can hit this big button here for download Blender, or you can go to the download page and tell it, you know, Windows, Mac, Linux, Steam. We're just gonna do Windows. And it auto detect it for me. So, you know, check that on your end and just hit that big blue button. And you should get a little download somewhere on your computer, depending on what browser you're using. So I'm out here in the middle of the woods and it's only taking 30 seconds to download this software that is gonna change mine and your life. Here we go. All right, once it's done, it should blink a little bit and there's no more download. And you can either click on the little drop down arrow and show in folder and that'll tell you or kind of bring it up where Blender is or you can just double click on it or just click on it once either way. And it's saying, warning, um, we may, you know, this could put your PC at risk. Do you want to do it? And they only give you one option. So it's like, what the heck? How do I install it? But all you have to do, hit more info, run it anyway, because we trust the people over at Blender. And you should get a screen somewhat like this. Please wait while Setup Wizard prepares to guide you through the installation. So it's looking for the old versions of Blender that I have. And now it's ready. So let's go ahead and hit next. You know, make sure you read all this information. I'm speed reading it right now, and I've already read it. <laughs> so we'll just hit next, and there we go. You can put it where you would want it on your computer. You can put it on a different hard drive. I'm just gonna keep it on my main internal hard drive here, and click next. And here we go. So we'll let this do its thing. So now I'm getting a little pop-up. It says, do you want to allow this to make changes? And I'm just gonna say yes. And now it can start the installation. Also, while it's downloading, feel free to donate to Blender if you love it as much as I do, or you can support them. You can also become a cloud member uh, for I think like 10 or 12 bucks. And that also helps the further development of this software. And I recommend that to anyone who's, you know, making money with their designs or just, you know, wants to help out. So now it's finished. We're going to go ahead and click on finish. And we'll minimize this real fast. And Blender actually showed up on my desktop. So it should be on your desktop. You should see a little icon like this. And just double click on that. So Blender should look just like this whenever you first open it up. You'll have the splash screen with the current version that you're using. And they update it a lot and very often. Uh, they've been getting a lot of funding, so they're making updates all the time. So I'd recommend, you know, every few months maybe doing an update if you, if you want to. You can pick different types of projects that you want to uh, start with. We're going to be doing general pretty much all the time. Uh, you can do 2D animation with Blender. You can also do sculpting, visual effects, and video editing. Um, you can also see recent projects that you've been working on. So if you just click out of that, uh, you should see something like this. Um, and since I already had Blender installed, um, I saw that initial first splash screen. But if this is the first time you've ever installed Blender, you may see the splash screen with these types of um, 
pieces of information, like select with left or right. You know, you may see your spacebar action. You can just leave that how it is, just left and then play and press. And, you know, just go ahead and click away and it should disappear. And then you should see something like this, just a simple cube, the infamous Blender Cube. And the next video is how to install Blender for a Mac computer. But if you do not have a Mac or an Apple computer, then go ahead and skip that video and we'll move on to user interface tour. To learn more about 3D print design, visit ptt.live.